I wanted to do a PhD. So I realized the PhD scenario here or the research scenario here wasn't that great. So I started, you know, researching and I applied to the U.S. universities. Uh, thankfully, I was I have a tuition waiver and I have a stipend, so I don't really have to spend anything from my pocket or I never had to get anything from my parents. So whatever spending I do in the U.S. or I, I've been surviving on the stipend and the tuition waiver that I get. And what else? You, my future plans would be. Uh, if you ask me what I want to do in future, I think I would like to teach and see how it works out there. Because, like Rahul was telling me, there are a lot of youngsters here who really want to, you know, go to the U.S. and see how it's there. Like maybe work out there. But uh, from whatever, I I haven't like really worked in the industry out there. But I have taught the students there who have interned, and I teach the undergrad students and the graduate students out there. And frankly, I would say the scenario is not that great because the newspapers are dying. Even the top newspapers like the New York Times or uh, even uh, a lot of newspapers which are local, like the hyper-local newspapers are really popular out there. So each uh, region has its own popular newspaper. See, like the Chicago Tribune or the Cincinnati Daily. Uh, all these, just like Sakal Times, would be a very big newspaper out there because it covers really hyper, hyper local stories. And my, the place I live in, uh, it has two newspapers. One is run by my own school. Uh, it's completely run by students. It's called the Athens Post. And one is the Athens Messenger, which is run by the people out there. But again, students are recruited out there. And uh, Everybody is trying to move online. So even New York Times is trying to move online. But the problem that they are facing is how to attract the audience and where to get the money from. So though the newspaper print cost is cut down, been cut down like almost by half, the, the, the problems that they are facing moving online or shifting online is that the cost, the staff is being cut down by half. And people said that newspapers would die soon. But it's been a decade, and we don't see them dying even for another decade. I'm quite sure because internet, come what may, it is not going to reach every Indian in next one, two decades. I, I, so I agree. Isn't the theory I, repeating itself? I agree with you. I mean, I wouldn't say that uh, just because. I mean. Even though internet is really popular in the US, like every person has to have, when you buy a mobile phone, you have to take a data plan out there. You cannot opt out of it. So I think that has been one of the reasons why people are connected to the internet via their phones. Uh, that hasn't really killed TV as such. But then uh, this concept of Netflix is coming out there, which is killing, kind of, killing cable. And they have their monopoly, uh, the cable people have their monopoly out there and they are trying to keep it out. And if you know Netflix is through the internet, so I think slowly, slowly, I think even internet is taking over TV, but I wouldn't say it's completely taking over TV. But yeah, as, as you say, it's not really taking over, but I frankly am pretty positive that it would take over soon. And it really depends on the service providers, how good the internet connectivity would be. <coughs> yeah, but as far as India is concerned, I think we are still way back because uh, when you say broadband, uh, even 256 KB is a broadband here. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> that's, uh, it's humorous, but th that is the... Uh, and with 256 KB, you can hardly check your genome. True. That is it. So If you look at the example of South Korea, South Korea, there is like 98% of the people are connected via the internet. And the government has basically helped a lot to create an infrastructure where people are connected. Uh, uh, there's internet everywhere out there. It's free internet out there in the buses and all that and everywhere. Even in the US, if you go, like coffee shops, they have their free internet. My, my entire university is free internet. So you just enter the... Uh, I mean, I stay like 20 minutes away from the university, but I just walk for like 10 minutes and the internet gets connected. So I think that's, if that kind of technology comes in out here, 
I think that would really change the scenario out there. Right, because say like 10 years ago, how many of us really had a mobile phone? Not many of us did have. And now we have like two phones. Most of us might have two phones. Or how many of us really had internet at home? But many of us have it at home. And just like when the TV came in, it kind of spread like a wildfire. Like every single household had a television. Now people have two TVs or three TVs that in like we have three bedrooms and we have three TVs. So you can understand the speed that it's catching up at. But it's it's obviously gonna take time, I agree with you.